Good Monday morning and welcome inside the Nebraska Soybean Board Studio in Lincoln. On today's Monday Morning Markets Conversation, we're joined again by Jeff Peterson. He is the president of Heartland Farm Partners. Now, Jeff, as we start out today's conversation, we've been seeing these soybeans try to make a run at the at that $12 mark. I think it's even touched the $12 mark, but we can't seem to break the ceiling. I wanted to ask you why that is today and get some of your thoughts on that. Yeah, it's interesting. We started off about $11.98 overnight on the January board, got up to $11.99, and actually, I think we're at about our fifth time of getting close to trying that $12 level. And I think if we were to sum it up, it, I think there's enough uh, uncertainty about the weather. Is it going to stay dry enough, long enough to keep people from buying in at that level? And then I think the other thing that we're finding out there, Bryce, is the fact that uh, there's some concerns about uh, cancellations on the export demand side. And on the Friday numbers that we ended up seeing out of uh, WASD, or out of NAS actually, or USDA, they, uh, they actually, what they were showing is that we, we really had had some cancellations, couldn't confirm them to be from China, but actually what it was is that it did reduce our numbers. Even though we had some good sales yet, it just wasn't as good. So I think you bring that all together mm -hmm. and it just isn't the confidence to have new people step in. I think we will break it eventually, just haven't had the ability to do it yet. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. For producers that have soybeans or are looking at that mark, should I hang on to them for a few weeks and see if we can break the $12 mark? What are you advising people to do right now with uh, their crops? Yeah, so if you're sitting there and you have a bulk of, you know, you've got some soybeans beans left, maybe you haven't sold them all, I think it's okay to wait yet because there is still some concerns on what the production side is in South America that, that are very real. And on the demand side, demand has been very good and, and we're in a situation that if it stays dry and give it another couple weeks down there, then all of a sudden we're getting into a point where we're getting many beans into pod fill. And, and all of a sudden the situation starts getting even a little more critical than what it is now. You're talking about that South American weather, uh, there's a chance they might get some rain. Yeah, there really is. And it's, it's kind of interesting. It reminds me of what our season was this last year here in the U.S. It looked like we we're going to have some chances for rain 10 days, 15 days out, you know, as we were sitting there in August. And that's what they've got right now. It looks like actually the Monte Grosso area, it is extremely dry right now. It's probably about 10 inches behind normal as we compare that for that particular region, if you look from September through now. But there is some chances of some additional rain, but we have to get out there in that seven day beyond type forecast. But then what happens, though Bryce, is that then it flips and when they look like they have some better chances from rain, then all of a sudden we go back further south and we get to parts of southern Brazil and we get into Argentina and then those areas get a little dry. So we just kind of see a flipping of the program there. Broadly speaking, demand for corn and soybeans holding up? You know, it really has. Uh, we got those numbers out, as I mentioned, out on Friday. Here's what's hard to believe. We've actually already exported, or on the export sales side, over 54% of what our numbers look like for the year on corn. But over on the bean side, and this is where we're tied, is on beans, 87% is what we've already have on the book for sales. So those numbers, 54% for corn and 87% for soybeans, is that what you said? Yes. Wow. And interesting number. Other factors that you're following this week uh, as we start the fresh one off the holiday? Yeah, we are going to keep a close eye. Uh, ethanol numbers will be out again on Wednesday. We'll want to take a look at those just to see how that demand is holding up. We also want to get a chance to take a look at that commitment of trader numbers and see how those funds are holding in there and see if they're continuing to buy or what they're doing. All right, lots of things to watch. Jeff, appreciate your time as always. For more market information, you can bookmark our website. It's ruralradio.com.